Greetings, people. My heart is heavy because it's heavy for African black people globally. We are in a bind. The money that's being donated or given as aid to Africa, and I'm concerned about Africa because I believe the historian, teachers, and professors that my ancestors came from Africa. Yours may have been already over here, which is true. Black and red people were already here. But I'm going along with the professors, teachers, and lecturers that my ancestors came from Africa. So I'm concerned about Africa. Afri everybody want Africa. I have a vision that if Africa would just be independent, they can help us. I have a vision that like you pick up a rug and just shake it, that some special powers from somewhere will pick up Africa and just shake it. every non-African out of there. It's so sad to see Africans going along with neo-colonizers to enslave their people, to allow them to be dehumanized, eliminated, destroyed, tortured, and so such as it is here. I have a vision that the way they, we came together on social media to make sure that Shanquilla, the young lady that was taken out in Mexico, that they would do that for all, all of us that are being taken out. I'm concerned about Africa. I'm concerned about the city where I live, the state, the country. Aren't you? And the way Africans are lining up and siding with the enemy that wants to take out their people, their entire country. Kenya, DRC, money is being supplied to the rebels from the West. From people who want to take Africa. They want Africans gone. And they sent Obama over there to demand those kings that their citizens should wear dresses. They call them presidents, but they they kings. But they selling out, some of them. If you don't comply, you fly. The kings are telling the West, food, development, education, Technology, all of these things are more important to Africa than their men being sodomized. How would the West like for African kings to come over here and demand polygamy or else? Just flip the script. They want Africa, all those resources over there. And it breaks my heart when you hear commercials about Africa need aid and children working in the mud, making mud pies to eat in the biggest refugee camp. The 52 countries consider themselves separate, but they're Africans. I have a vision that they will all come together and know that they're one. All those resources over there. The world cannot function without Africa. So why do they need aid? Why are Africans without running water and electricity? Something is wrong. Can't it? But you know what? Nobody can do anything about it. We can only talk about it. 
That's the sad part. They have allowed the destroyer, the super rulers, to be the developers of weapons. They have more than five companies. They have multiple companies where all they do is mass produce weapons 24-7, 365. How can you beat them? We know melanin is, is dominant and it's the majority. But the recessive minority gets you in a bind. You allow them and they have spread it out like a V-I-R-U-S. I mean, it's infiltrated into every fiber, every being of rulership. And they all over in Africa. And Africans are helping them take their country. And they don't care anything about you. Use you and then abuse you. It's sad. It is hurtful to my heart. It is. And, 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 and people are bringing children into this world. I don't see any goodness coming out of it at all. And my heart is saddened for the children that I have brought here. I'm sorry that I brought them here in this world. It doesn't look good. Peace, if you can find it. Yes, I am negative, dark, all of that, pessimistic, pessimistic. A pessimist is never disappointed. They're surprised when shit do happen good, but they're never disappointed. I don't see any good. Tell it like a T.I. is. And the polarization is they have this part of the world looking all lovely. The commercials showing all the gifts and talents that people have and possess and showing and revealing to the world. And on this side, they make it documentaries while the rest of us sit and die. While the rest of us die. They're making plans. And we're not included. 10% on 90% of the world's riches. And the 90% is crumbling. Crumbling for the scraps. They don't want us here. They're making plans, people. And the wealthy, the billionaires, and all of them, they got cars to tell them on how to avoid the, the mess that's going to be left behind. But who's going to clean up the mess? Who's going to clean up the oceans, the seas that are tainted, destroyed with plastic? Baby fishes and frogs are laying plastic as eggs. It's contaminated. How are you going to clean that up? Peace if you can find it, people.